Today, some students in the Dover Iota School District are getting a look at the future of education with the help of a robot and a teacher several states away. Megan Zempel was in the classroom this morning and she's joining us live with more on what's happening there. Good afternoon, Megan. Hi, hi Jess. I'm, I'm having a good time. We're having a little bit of technical difficulties, but it's all good. I'm having some fun with Leopold the robot right here. Uh, he does tricks. Um, he talks, but you know what? He also helps students quite a bit. Julie Cunningham Henneyes is a physical and health disabilities consultant. She's from this area, but right now lives in Pennsylvania. She's also a robot handler. She lives in Leopold and controls him, rolling along school halls and helping students, acting as an extra support for students and teachers in the Iota Dover School District and, the, and Wabasha Kellogg Schools. It's a unique way to engage students, as if she was there in person. On a personal level, I enjoy, it's, it's like being there in person, because I, I really enjoyed um, living in Minnesota and getting in and had a lot of, have a lot of friends there. So the social aspect, it was fun seeing kids and interacting with them. I find that I, I'm treated more like a person. It sounds odd, but because I'm in this form and I can move, people interact differently than if I'm on a flat screen on Zoom. Leopold is made by a company in California. Julie is able to control him using a series of dots she sees on the screen. She says it's really easy to drive. And just for the next hour or so, I'm in charge of Leopold. Um, I guess I never thought I'd be a robot babysitter, but I am now, so I can add that to my list of accomplishments. <laughs> Reporting live in IOTA, Megan Zempel, KTTC News. The best part about being a reporter is something new every day. Thanks, Megan.